I'm checking this new SaaS platform. Oh, the sign in was easier than expected. And they have pretty cool integration with Slack, even with Figma. Aha, uh -huh, so that's how it works. Our team could definitely use this tool. Hi, I'm Ilya, the founder of Alakim, a design agency for SaaS companies. Welcome to our channel where we share lessons on how to grow your business using the power of design. In this video, I will show you how to sparkle an aha moment in your product. So let's dive in. The term aha moment has become quite popular recently. We often use it in daily situations, media and business. Dictionaries define an aha moment as a sudden realization or insight. We also say aha moment, meaning the second when the situation to the problem becomes clear. And this is exactly why we talk about aha moments in product design. The thing is, our brain projects different theories all the time. And when we get to prove one, the picture feels complete and our brain loves it. That very second, we experience the aha moment. In product business, there are two kinds of aha moments. The first one is what you as a creator experience when new idea is born or while designing your product. You may feel aha moment when you realize what you need to do to make your customer's life easier. This type of aha moment leads to discoveries and new solutions. For example, Jan Kum, the founder of WhatsApp, could not afford to call his father in Ukraine as often as he wanted. So he created the product that solved this problem for him and for many other users. The other type of aha moment is on the user side. When the user realizes the value of the product at the right time, they silently or loudly say aha. Uh -huh. It happens when the user experienced the core function of the product and suddenly understands what it's all about. The user accomplished a task in a few minutes instead of a few hours, or the user achieved the unexpected milestone on the way to progress. Those pleasant discoveries make the user experience more satisfying. This is how aha moments keep users attached to digital products. So your job is to figure out what exactly your users need and build your product around that. First, you need to figure out what kind of behaviors or actions actions correspond with the value discovery. These insights should lead your product design adjustments. Here are three action points to define aha moments in your product. Number one, get feedback from your users. To craft aha moments, you need to find what in particular your customers love about your product. A simple type form, user test groups or A-B test will help you to gather feedback from your users. Analyze their responses carefully. You will gain insights into user experience. Understand where your users experience an aha moment. For that, ask them straightforward questions. How would you describe your favorite feature of a product? What the most important feature you use every day? Is there something you lack in your product? Number two, learn from customers you churn. For that, you'll have to talk with your churned customers. Certainly, it's the most painful part of the journey, but you can learn some valuable lessons. The first step is to comprehend why people leave. Asking them about moments of friction is crucial here. Usually, users get frustrated over malfunctioning features, bad UX, confusing UI, or general lack of value. Before they leave, try to ask them what is the reason. What did they hope to achieve when they signed up for the product. Seems like the product you offered wasn't the right solution for them. Why? What went wrong while interacting with the product? Your churned users are a great source of information. So your goal is to get sense of what they struggle with and fix it. Number three, analyze the patterns and take action. Check out your findings on both loyal and unhappy customers. Understand user patterns and create customer journey based on real users' feedback. Indicate aha moments in your product roadmap. Design your product aiming to get the following reactions from users. Aha, that was easier than I expected or, aha, this solution makes my life better. Oh, how thoughtful of them, I love this app. So now let's sum up. The aha moment is not some kind of magic. You can detect it through analysis of how users interact with your product. Recognize what is in the aha moment of your product and provide more delightful milestones for your users. Design flawless user experience and craft aha moments along the user journey. Only third through products can win the customer's hearts and succeed. Strong product vision also helps you to create unique user experience. By the way, I've talked about product vision in this video, check this out. I hope today's topic inspired you to explore the possibilities of aha moment in your business. I put videos on SaaS business and product design every week, so please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on them. See you in the next video.